you're scientists? I'm always saying that science is all around you. From the roads that you drive on, to the car you drive in, to the planes overhead, the fish swimming in the ocean, to insects crawling, and to plants in and around your house. Science is everywhere. For thousands of years, people have been studying different phenomena on and beyond the Earth. There's so much science that you can't possibly be an expert in every part. That is why scientists choose to study a particular part of science. There are herpetologists that study snakes, mm -hmm. cardiologists who study the human heart, bum, 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 bum. meteorologists who study the weather, oh no, it's raining, <laughs> entomologists who study insects, yikes, why, <laughs> and many, many more. Today I want to talk to you about what a botanist does. This is a scientist that studies the field of botany. There you go. No, wait, there's more. <laughs> botany is the study of plants. So a botanist is a scientist who studies plants. People have been studying plants for thousands of years. All cultures have studied plants. In fact, it is one of the older sciences that exist. Originally, people needed to know which plants were safe to eat and which plants were poisonous. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm fine, really. <laughs> but you should never eat something when you don't know what it is. I'm sure some were easier to figure out than others. People would watch animals to see what they could eat safely and follow their lead. However, it is difficult to figure out if something like a mushroom is okay to eat or not. You have to have a lot of experience to know if something is safe or if something can cause you harm. Over time, people started to discover other uses for plants. So what other uses are there and why is botany such an important science? Let's find out. Since plants are the fundamental part of life on Earth, studying them is extremely important. Aside from food, plants provide us with oxygen, fiber for clothing, the wood for our buildings. They prevent soil from eroding. And one super important thing, plants provide us with medicine. You probably never realized how much we count on plants. You just gotta love those plants, don't you? <laughs> okay, so all this important plant stuff, yada, 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 but exactly what does a botanist do? Actually, quite a lot. A botanist must ensure that enough food is produced for everyone on Earth. That means she must understand how to grow healthy and safe foods. Secondly, botanists are challenged to discover and preserve plants that can provide medicine. This is important because there are many medicines that come directly from plants or are made using plants. As people continue to destroy plant life, like in the rainforest, valuable medicine can be lost. Botanists continue to find new species of plants. And when they do, these plants have to be correctly categorized. That means that the botanist has to know where these plants belong in relationship to other plants. Lastly, botanists also need to study plants because they can tell us what is happening with the environment. Plants can help predict changes in the environment. That seems like a lot on someone's plate. True, it is. However, just like there are different types of scientists, there are different types of botanists. A botanist may choose to study the types of medicines we get from plants. A different botanist may study plant growth and development. There are many different types of botanists, but they all study plants. You don't have to wait until you're old, like me, to be a scientist. You're already a scientist. You can go outside and study plants, put them into groups, observe them to see how they grow, and more. Congratulations! You're already a botanist! <laughs> well, until next time, have a scientific day!